Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C++ programming session. In today's session, I'll be talking about one of the features of C++ that is local classes. Yes, it is one of the features which is rarely being explained in some of the books and it is rarely being used by most of the users also. According to this feature, we can create classes inside the methods. Yes, it is possible. We all know that we can create classes like a normal class that is as per our requirements we create a user defined data type in the form of class and we create the objects of it and we use it. In my previous video I have shown the concept of nested classes that is we can create a class inside another class. In today I'll be talking about how we can create a class inside a method that is local classes. In today's session we'll be seeing what is local classes and I'll be showing you an example in which we'll be seeing how to create a local class and how to access it and what are the limitations and what are the things we can access and what things we can't access. So let's understand first and simple most thing that what is local classes and what is the requirement of it. According to local classes we can create a class inside a method also. As we all know that we can create methods like a normal methods like we used to do in C. So in C++ we can create methods as per our requirements in the global not only inside the class but outside the class also. So if in case you have created some methods outside it something like this that is void sum then it is quite possible that you can create class inside this method also. Okay now the question comes why I should do that and second thing comes what advantage I'm getting by doing that. Uh, for the sake of the thing is like it is one of the features being available because you can create class like a normal class you can create class inside a class and you can even create a class inside a method also but there is one more advantage or you can say intention to doing so if suppose you want to give a complete feature of a user defined data type to only to a particular class method only that means my complete class should only be accessed by this particular method only I want to put some restriction like that then in that case I have to create class inside the method only if I create a class outside the method then it can be an object can be created from anywhere who can access those class you can't restrict him to be created any objects or something like that but in the method if you create a class inside the method that class is only be accessed within the method only so that's one of the most advantage or you can see one of the concerns or one of the scenarios where you can identify that in this scenario I should create a nested in I should create a local class inside a method okay so I hope so you understand what is local class and when we have to create it let's see an example and I will show you what are the limitations and what are things that you can access and what things you can't access so I have created a simple method my function it is having two variables one is a simple variable and one is a static variable I'll be showing where I have created those two separate variables for the timing I just created a method inside that class okay so I just created a class inside a method I'm sorry so inner class is inside my my function it is having its own variable but obvious you know that the rgl is a variable of inner class it will not be accessed by my function so I'm concentrate I'm not concentrating on those things the thing I want to concentrate here is that whether inner class can access val or static val which is a variable of my function because ultimately inner class is a one of the classes declared inside my function and those variables is also inside my function so which variables will be accessed and which will not be accessed let's see that so but obvious you can't access rel okay so my function can't access rel rel will exist will be accessed only within the class so that is but obvious we understood that uh, you can display the value of rel like a normal things but you can't access the val val is not a variable of class but it is a variable which has been declared in the method but it is a normal variable whereas if I if you have a static variable you can it can be accessed inside the class also that is what I have shown here okay and inside the class I have created the object and I have called the the display method of that object through that object okay so in my main method I am calling the function the function will do nothing it will create its own two variables that is a val and static val it is having its class at the last it is creating an object of that inner class it is just simply calling the display method let's simply run this program and let's see whether the static is working or not whether the inner class variable is working or not and afterwards if it is working then we will try to access whether the, that local variable which is according to me is not working right now will be accessed or not so let's compile it so I compile it let's run it so you can see that the inner value which I have assigned 200 is displayed 
simply and the static variable is accessed because it is assigned a value as 400 so static variable is accessed so that is clear let's try to access the local variable also like I have accessed the static variable so I first need to compile So I'm compiling and it says automatically an error is being generated that in the display method use of auto variable that is an error because you know that it is by default local variables which have created the val is an automatic variable also. So that auto variable can't be accessed here. So this is one of the problems. So as I've told you like the local variables will not be accessed whereas in the case of static variable it will be accessed. Okay, so we have seen like uh, what is local classes, why we need it, what is the advantage we are getting, that is only the method can access it, no outsider can create an object of it, that complete feature is given to that function only, so that is one of the advantages you are getting by creating a class inside a method. With an example I have shown you the what variables can be accessed and what variables can't be accessed inside the class, that is the variables of the methods. I hope so I have cleared the doubts of local classes. If you have still any queries, you can uh, post a comment on to this video. You can find all code related to this video at my blog, we know the best.wordpress.com. Please don't forget to subscribe my videos. Thank you and have a nice day.